We just arrived here in Greer, Arizona, and it is a beautiful day. The high today is 70 degrees, and we're probably gonna get some storms. Just pulled off to let the dogs stretch their legs for a few minutes, and then we'll be on our way to our campsite. Just exploring some forest roads, looking for a good camp for this weekend. We are just southeast of Big Lake and uh, a bit southeast of Greer. We have the Black River on this side of the vehicle. And we're looking for a campsite that's going to get us as close to the river as we can get. Probably not going to be able to see this, but there's an antelope right there. So cool. When I was walking out to try to get a good picture of the antelope. Our road hasn't been used in a while, which is always a good sign in my opinion. Hoping for a good campsite at the end of it. setting up camp and it is a raining and storming. We had a really close lightning strike so we decided to get in the car. The wind's starting to pick up a little. Fun time. Seems to be wrapping up. Heading to the east. Got the awning up just in time to keep us a little dry. just ends here and then uh, quite a few pretty large rocks but fortunately we have the clearance to get down to this nice level spot well got some more rain already tried to make a bit of a Splash, I don't know what to call it, but it was splashing on the rug and back at us. So we used the water bowl for the dogs. Got our camp set up and had a storm right off the bat, but starting to clear up now. You can kind of see it sunnier that way. It's still pretty dark over here. Lydia's digging holes as usual. Got a little sunlight finally.
it's cool because this is like the beginning of the canyon you know it's yeah. pretty much flat through here and then really get some nice rock walls so this is the two track road we came in on definitely hasn't been used in a, quite a while and then once you get over here it's uh you know people have used this as a camp before for sure but it's been a while and really rocky to get down to camp hiking down our campsites up there and we're working our way down to the river down here getting closer we've just about made it down and we've got quite the climb on our way back up we're gonna head upstream a bit and I'm gonna go downstream and try some trout fishing. Fish this little hole here. And we'll let you know how it goes. Well, no luck at the fishing hole. I have been seeing uh, some, probably some smaller trout hit, uh, you know, flies off the surface uh, but I have yet to get into fly fishing so that's that <laughs> a little action down there I'm just gonna kind of hang out while uh, Glenna, Glenna's kind of hiking up the way that way with the dogs I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on this and see what I see we hiked a ways down that way I forgot to bring the GoPro along with me but Aspen just started her angry bark off in the distance. And her, hair's out. and her hair was, yeah, her hair was all stood up. And we were never able to see what it was. But um, I've learned trust your dog. Oh, yeah. Found a uh, elk carcass. And we were hoping to find uh, antlers. That some of it was still decaying. So... It wasn't quite finished. He located the skull, uh, and it did not have what you would expect for antlers. We made it back up the hill. I think the dogs are about ready for dinner. And we're just getting into sunset. Absolutely beautiful. Just doing some word searches. <laughs> and Lydia's looking out. Aspen's back here. Can barely see her. She's there. Just making some super basic omelets for breakfast. Well, it's not the prettiest omelet in the world, but I'm sure it'll taste good. As far as our cleanup setup, I tried to get as much food scraps as possible off just using a paper towel and then scrape that all into a trash bag. And then from there, we use a pressurized water tank uh, to actually wash the dishes. 
So that's where we're at once everything is wiped out and we'll go ahead and get it washed now. And that's pretty much it. Just let it air dry. Glenna was out hiking around our camp area and uh, finally found our first piece of antler. We've been looking for sheds. It's not a full shed. Let's check it out. Aspen. Yeah, nice. We're gonna keep walking on, looks like maybe a little game trail and uh, keep our eyes peeled for more. You got a rib. Over there, cool. Just checking out around this tree. And kind of all around, there's bones scattered all throughout this area. So we're hoping we might find more pieces of that antler. Well, at least we know she can find sticks. <laughs> Lots and lots of sticks. Barely see this little game trail now. Those are huge, I don't know. never seen anything like this. This mud is kind of built up just in some really strange way. Definitely have to look up and see if we can figure that out when we get home what it is. We made it back to the south side of our camp. We're just hiking down this wash, uh, checking to see if at any point in a elk drop some antlers this way. When I was looking on Google Maps to pick this spot, I saw that just south of here it looked like it had a fire come through. So, pick the forest road on this side. Nice uh, pine forest for our little campsite. Interesting. All these rocks were uh, kind of grown into the root system. I guess the roots grew into the rocks, but pretty cool. So this is where we suspect our antler piece came from. Definitely lots of bones around, but we can't find the skull. Gonna clean up the edge on this brake. <laughs> and success. Nice clean end on that now. We saw a huge herd of elk down, bedded down by this river. Uh, kind of north from where we are. So we're gonna hike down see if we can uh, get some pictures. Getting close to the bottom here, uh, down by the river, and then it'll probably be a couple miles potentially. A little bit of a game trail, <laughs> but we'll uh, keep you updated if we get on these elk, get some good pictures. We are back down at the river. So this is the North Fork of the Black River. And uh, we're gonna head up and try to be respectful and not push them, but close enough to get a good picture from a distance on a telephoto. Just working our way up on the left side of the river. We're gonna go up on the hill here, get the binoculars back out, see if they're still around. Another elk skeleton. It's wild. Oh, it still has hair. Yeah. 
I'm just getting a telephoto ready before we get up over this just so that she can get it going. It's got kind of a cool thing for those who like photography. This is the Expo disc mm -hmm. and uh, it allows you to do white balance by shooting in the direction of your light source. I mean, it took us probably 45 minutes to an hour to get down here, but they were all bedded down right there. And, and you know, don't see them anywhere up that way. Storms building up all around. Almost down and then just back up onto our side. We're way at the top. I don't see anything. She pointed a chipmunk earlier. It's getting a little more rain this evening. But we absolutely love this 23-0 Peregrine 270 awning. up getting ready to go as you can see leaving an exceptionally clean campsite if you do dispersed camping you've got to pack it out so make sure to take it with you our solution for that is just this old canvas bag and then uh, put our trash bags in there take it home and throw it away. smooth dirt roads so just letting the dogs stretch their legs a little bit one last time 
Thank you.